Hi everyone, thank you for joining our May Florida Broker Roundtable meeting with Robert Milligan. Before we begin, I would just like to say how happy we are to now offer a ton of great free marketing tools to all of our agents, and these are now available in the AJI University. Our goal is to always give back to our agents by offering the newest tools and technology to you. None of this would be possible without you and your amazing amount of agent referrals to AJI. As Allison James continues to grow with agents referring other agents to our brokerage, we will be able to provide more of these tools to you. And remember, you can earn a monthly or yearly residual payment simply by having an agent join us. All you need to do is contact Jeff Jabora or Alicia Aratari in our National Growth and Development Department and provide them with the contact information of the agent who you would like to refer over. And with that being said, I would now like to pass it over to Robert Milligan. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, Victoria. Thank you. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning, um, what I wanted to talk about with everybody is leadership in real estate because leadership is important and we're all leaders at different levels in this industry. And, um, you know, there, there's just so many um, aspects of it that, that's important to be successful and to provide a lot of value. And, so, um, and, and that said, we've, we've got a busy office. I apologize if you hear noise in the background, but it's because we're selling lots of houses and we're not selling lots of houses because we know everything that there is to know about, readers, about, about real estate. We're, getting, we're selling lots of houses and we're getting paid for our leadership. And what I mean by that is that um, you know, Zillow knows more about real estate than I ever will. Zillow knows more about real estate than what, what you probably ever will. But what, you know, what people and what customers are paying us for is for our leadership. This is, even for sophisticated people, this is a, a big, complex, you know, sometimes at it, some element, a scary transaction. And so they want to have a professional, a trusted advisor, somebody that they can call and say, hey, what's going to happen next? What do I do next? Um, and if, you know, if you're not able to be in a position where you can be that person right now, you need to figure out the quickest path to becoming that person to be a trusted advisor so that they can rely on you whenever, whenever they're kind of scared, when they're nervous, when they don't know what's going to happen next. So, um, you know, I, I think the first place to begin with becoming a better leader, and again, we're all leaders at different levels. You know, I, I happen to be um, the leader of our group of agents here. You happen to be the leader of your customer. And so, you know, in order to position yourself in a way that you're going to be a trusted advisor to your customer, you have to borrow some confidence from future you. And uh, I started in this business when I was 19 years old. I didn't know anything about anything. I, I had never personally bought or sold a house. And I tried to be somebody that I wasn't. I was kind of inauthentic when I began in my journey. And I tried to portray to my customers that, you know, I had read a lot and I studied a lot and I knew everything that there was to know. But at 19 years old, there was no way that I knew everything there was to know. And you know, I wasn't very effective whenever I was inauthentic and, and trying to portray to customers um, that, that I'm something that I'm not. So, you know, what I did, I figured out, and, and for everybody, your path is going to be a little bit different, but I, I figured out how to align myself with a local leader in our market, and I started just telling my customers, listen, I'm, I don't have a giant track record, I've never personally bought or sold a house, but I'm a quick learner, and nobody's going to work harder than you, or, or sorry, nobody's going to work harder than me. Um, nobody's going to hustle harder, nobody's hungrier than I am, I'm starving. And so, you know, that was a message that resonated with people that, you know, yes, maybe I don't know everything, but, but I'm going to be dedicated and I'm going to hustle and I have the time to apply to them to help them get what they want. And I'm connected to somebody who does have all the answers and somebody who does have a track record. So that was somebody uh, that, that was influential in getting my career off the ground. And, and again, I, I believe very firmly in borrowing some confidence from future you if you're new to the business and just figuring out how to get started here. But the, the big thing that you really need to focus on, I think, is, um, is before you can be a, an effective leader, you know, we, we all need to get ourselves under control first. And I've had periods in my life um, whenever um, that I, I couldn't, you know, quite budget my own time effectively and things that, things that were going on that, um, you know, I, I just wasn't totally in control of me first and so it's hard to um, have followers and whenever you're not in control of yourself and by followers I don't mean people on Instagram and Twitter and all that, you know, that's, that's not leadership, that's just marketing and I don't know exactly what it is, but, you know, followers are people that's actually going to take your advice, people, people that trust you. 
So, you know, I, I really started applying some diligent effort to get myself under control and, uh, and you know, and by that specifically, I mean my, my, my time, my calendar, um, my thoughts. And, um, you know, I, I think that it's important as a leader to, to study and give some thought to um, your belief systems. I think there's a lot of great material out there. I really like a lot of Tony Robbins stuff and some of the other um, you know, gurus, so to speak, who talk a lot about belief systems because, you know, if you believe that you can offer a great service to your customers, I mean, that's really what it, what it starts with. And if you believe you can be effective in this business, then that's where it begins. If, if you don't believe you can be effective in this business, it's just not going to, not, not likely to work out. So, um, you know, I'll tell you a, a simple story, I guess, to demonstrate belief system. And um, I I've, I've grew up in Florida from the time I was a teenager, and I've spent, you know, a lot of time out on the water, out on boats, playing around. But I had this silly, self-limiting belief for a long time that I couldn't sail, that sailing was too complex, it was too complicated. And, um, and recently, I, I now have uh, my oldest son's 10 years old, and he took a sailing camp over the summer really taking a liking to the sport, really interested in it, and I saw an opportunity for us to do something together. So, you know, while for almost 20 years now I've had a, a limiting belief that I can't sail, which is, which is really a silly story that I've been telling myself if you think about it, um, now that my why has changed a bit and my 10-year-old my son is wanting to sail and wanting to learn more about it, and it's a great way for us to spend more time together, um, I, my, my why changed and, um, you know, without even being totally self-aware, my belief system changed that, you know, hey, my, my 10-year-old can do this, and, you know, if he can do it, surely I can do it, and so sure enough, I, I took some classes and got certified, and now we're sailing together. So, you know, that's just a simple illustration that, you know, sometimes we have stories that we tell ourselves, things that, that hold us back, um, that just don't really make any sense at all. So, you know, all this time I've been telling myself I can't sail, and now I can, and I love it, and, and I'm having a great time with it. So, you know, we, we do the same things to ourselves professionally, and, and you might be telling yourself, you know, I can't sell more than $3 million a year in volume, or, you know, I can't be a top producer in my local market. You might not even be aware that you're telling yourself that. It might be a subliminal thing. But um, you, you can. You can do whatever that you decide to do. And I think it all begins with, with leadership and just being aware of how you're influencing others. Leaders make an impact and um, they make a difference. I, I recently interviewed a, a local leader in our market, one of the top brokerages, the, the founder of that company. And um, you know, she just had an amazing story. And, and I asked her a simple question that I, I wasn't expecting such a profound answer to. But I just asked her. You know, when you're in a, in a social setting and somebody asks you, what do you do, how do you answer that question? And she, she, she didn't say that she sells real estate. She didn't say that she owns a brokerage. She said, um, I make a difference. So when somebody asks her what she does for a living, she says, I make a difference. You know, to me, that, that's really simple but really profound because that's what leaders do. Leaders don't say that this job's too, too small for me or too big for me. Or, I mean, they see a place that, they, that there's a need, and then they decide to invest themselves in making a difference. So, you know, that's what I mean when I say that, you know, we, we don't get paid necessarily for what we know. Zillow knows more about houses than we do, but we get paid for our leadership because Zillow doesn't know what all the objectives of our customers are. They don't know why they're moving. They don't know when they want to move. They don't know if they would prefer to, you know, move in a more timely way or if they would prefer to have a higher... Um, net proceeds on their sales. Zillow doesn't know these things, and, and we do, and that's what the value is that we can offer our customers. So, you know, leadership isn't easy necessarily. It's not glamorous. Of course, you know, for my capacity with leadership in our group of agents here, whenever everything goes right, I, I, I and, you know, let you have all the credit as you deserve it. I don't try to take the glory or the credit when everything's going right, but whenever everything goes wrong, a good leader is going to step up and say, hey, um, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I take I take the uh, responsibility for this situation. I'm going to promise that I'm going to stick stick through this thing and help help everybody come out to an effective resolution. So, you know, leadership is, is it's it's hard. It doesn't have to be, but it's it's just taking responsibility. It's taking responsibility for yourself, your customers, your community. Um, one thing that I think is kind of cool about leadership. I was thinking about it the other day. Is that um, you know, being a leader it takes a strong stomach. Um, I think that sometimes the role there, there's an equally important role that often gets overlooked, which is being the first follower. And if you're new in this business, your customer might be your first follower. And what I, what I mean by that is that as a leader, you know, when you're all by yourself, you're essentially a lone nut. You know, you're, 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 by, you're out there, you're doing something different. It might be kind of silly. I mean, at 19 years old, trying to tell people that I knew how to, how to help them get what they want in real estate, and, and I didn't even know how to buy or sell my own house really yet. 
Um, you, you know, that, that essentially is a lone nut. And eventually I found a customer who believed in me and, and took a chance on me. And that's how I got my, my track record started. But, you know, if you think about it, the, as a lone nut, your first leader, or I'm sorry, your first follower is the one who validates you and gives you power and allows your career to begin. So, um, you know, whatever it is you're trying to do, whatever goals that you have, um, you know, oftentimes your first follower might be a family member or a loved one you know, a close friend, somebody like that. So, you know, if somebody else believes in you enough to believe whatever new endeavor you're, you're starting out on, I think that that's so powerful. And, um, you know, keep those relationships close. Um, you know, those, those kind of people that give you the power to accomplish your goals are some, you know, are people that are just going to be totally invaluable in your life, obviously. So, you know, I, I think that, that leadership is something, something that's worthy of studying. I think that it's, it's a mistake to underestimate your role as a leader to your customer. And, um, you know, leadership essentially is influence and, and helping people get the results that they're hoping to achieve in life. Um, it's just like a, a personal trainer at a gym. Um, you know, they're going to tell they're going to lead you to do things that you don't necessarily want to do. I mean, that, that's why they get paid is, um, you know, they're going to challenge you. They're going to put some difficult situations in your life so that you get the result that you're paying them for. And that's essentially what we're doing as realtors, too. I mean, we're not trying to show our customers tough love necessarily, but you know, moving is stressful. People, even smart people, get stressed out, do irrational things whenever they're moving, and really, at the end of the day, they're just looking to us for leadership. We're, we're going to challenge them. We're going to push them to do things that are outside of their comfort zone. We're going to, you know, cause them to move house, which is very stressful. And they just need somebody that's going to step up and and take responsibility and say, I know what's going on. I know, you know, we've been through this before. You're going to be okay and you're going to get the result that you want. So um, that's my two cents about leadership here, Victoria, and uh, hopefully I said something that, that helps somebody with where they're at in their business. And of course, um, for any questions that you may have about um, you know, legal stuff, contracts, um, you know, just questions about business, that's what we're here for. Perfect. Thank you so much, Robert. And um, I know on behalf of all of our agents, thank you for being a great leader and, um, and always being there to answer any questions that we have. So. Well, Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much for today's webinar. Thank you, everyone, for joining us, and we hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.